Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We're um, still on this bounty hunter run. I've gotten a few, couple more achievements, and now I am on, on the unfortunate path of uh, robbing Eid Freehold blind. Uh, there's, there's no, there's no good, there's no good end here. There's, you know, look away if you must. Um, this is, this is not going to be. <laughs> the only reason I'm doing this is um, you know, because I broke a water ritual. This is, you know, some a very Caves of Cud thing, but I broke a water ritual with, um, take all, do it, with uh, none other than uh, Aborokoro, what's his name, Ape God, and because uh, I wanted to both make friends with um, Aborokoro and also kill them, so there isn't really a good way to do that without bre breaking a, a water ritual. So after having broken the water ritual, we're now on bad terms with everyone. Um, so, you know, uh, making, uh, uh, making good out of a bad situation, maybe, we're, we're going to take all of the stuff. Now, do I not know antimatter cells? I feel like I do know how to make antimatter cells and have for a long time. So, uh, I'm interested to know, you know, based on this bug, we've, we're, I've also been dealing with this bug of uh our our character got reset to due to me installing a mod very you know, like you know nothing it's a mod that was going to add more music added more music and it absolutely destroyed everything so you know that sucks for for some reason our our extra mutations got reset um, we lost all of my skills, so I had to buy tinkering again. I really don't feel good about this, but I am doing it. I, I, we just got some Zeta Chrome. We also just disassembled something made of acid. I think the nano weave vest is quite valuable. We have some water. We have some flawless crystal goods. I think I'll just take all of this. And we have some more stuff here. Okay, and uh, we are overburdened. That was going to happen. Uh, I was hoping it wasn't going to happen, but it, it happened. Um, we can disassemble things now, so I'm going to go ahead and disassemble some of the stuff we don't need, like night vision goggles. We have some new artifacts here. Leather cloak with suspensers. Light rail. Nice. I thought we knew about light rail. Electrified crystal battle axe. Crystal uh, ba battle axe. Nice. Um, we have a lot of food that is weighing us down. Oh, look at all this raw pig meat. We don't need any of that. We don't need any of that. So we will say goodbye to that. Oh, what is what's in here? Nothing in that. Nothing in that, huh? Wow, that's kind of disappointing, if I'm being honest. Okay, so that's that. Um, I don't know if there are any other, you know, people in Eat Freehold that are, are worth um, taking from. So what I'm going to do now is we're inspired. We really need to cook something. Let's let's cook a food a food. Oh, I don't have cooking and gathering. Oh, no Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bit of clam hopping I need to jump 40 times um, If I see locations that are worth um, stopping at and, and collecting some various goods, then I will Oh, this is a dangerous zone Um, hmm. What the heck? 
We only have the one clone. What happened to all of our other clones? Yeah, well, the, the game is like not okay right now. You are frozen solid. This is what happens when you uh, create clones with grenades. I have no idea what just happened. Oh, I think I got pulled into a clam. That's pretty funny, actually. So, wh where are all of our other clones? I have, have apparently been here before. Cook home. I wonder if, um... Oh, I didn't want to hit the clam. I didn't even know you could attack the clam. Yeah, that sucks. Um, I wonder, like, are the are, are all of the clams connected in some kind of coherent way? Like, if you jump into a clam and it takes you somewhere, if you jumped into that same clam, would it take you to the same place or would it take you to a random other place? I wonder. I believe these um, these lads will drop. Yeah, bloody coral polyp, Col kaleidoscope slug. They they actually are a good way of making some money. How oh, unfortunately we don't have the means to because we don't have cooking and gathering. Right? We don't have cooking and gathering, and we don't have butchery. Oh God, it's it really is um, pretty wild. What has happened here? What is this? We have a star kraken. Pretty sure star krakens are worth quite a bit, but they are also very difficult to kill. This serves two purposes in a way, because if we do somehow get eaten by them, um, then I, th I think that is also an achievement. Let's, um... Walking away, I'm gonna... Okay, here we go. Now, now we have more clones. Got too close. <laughs> My clones are, are 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 definitely a detriment. We don't want to butcher a star cracking corpse. I, I believe the star cracking corpse uh, will will be quite valuable. I just don't know how one is going to take advantage. Oh my god. Okay, we're, we're shooting them. The nice thing about the arc winder is that it, it goes through AV. Like, it, it does a, you know, flat rate damage. I don't think you can, like, critical with an arc winder. I could be wrong about that. Um, but, you know, it, it goes through AV. You don't have to worry about AV. And Krakens, in general, have a very high AV. Just gonna... I accidentally hit that Svardim. I could just hold down the F button, um, but that'll make the screen flash for a bit. So if you're photosensitive, um, don't don't look right now. Okay, okay, he's walking right next to me. Um, I okay, you you can look now. <laughs> uh, that was. I did quite a bit of damage. They're still fine. They have a lot of damage. Or sorry, a lot of health. They have a lot of health. I'm not sure. Um, maybe I need to try a different tactic here because this is taking a long time. Let's uh, try some high explosive grenades maybe. Okay, that's doing a nice chunk of damage. 84? Yeah, that's doing really nice damage. Injured. That's doing crazy damage, actually. I feel like there's something just, like, very wrong with the game. Wounded. Badly wounded. 
Do two more and then I'm going to start firing on them. Okay, we could do it. Oh, all right. Let's let's throw one more. All right. We killed them. Um tar encrusted bones. So I didn't get a corpse, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure killing them with uh grenades means that the, the corpse is likely to burn up. Well, Oh well. I messed that up. I don't think that the corpse is like 100% guaranteed to drop also. I could also try and... Uh, oh, we have a trinning lamprey. I'm out of here. Don't want to have to deal with that. I could try and, and kill a um, chrome pyramid. I'm pretty sure they will absolutely destroy me. But it's not guaranteed. Um, I think if I made enough EMP grenades, let me see what I can make. Okay, so I do have all the knowledge that I gained throughout this run. This is great. So unfortunately, EMP grenades, I only have EMP grenade mark threes and I need flawless crystals for that. Uh, crystals for that. And I 100% used those up um, in my various exploits. Um, so unless i can get data plans for better well not better but different <laughs> different emp grenade then it's it's you know not really gonna work out i need to uh i need a bunch of emp grenades in order to take on a chrome pyramid i also don't really know where i would fight a chrome pyramid i guess right now in the deathlands is where they're most most likely to appear. Uh, I just don't know if, like, I've never really run around in the Deathlands. I don't know where I am, but we're uh, making short work of this achievement. I have 40 more clams to jump in before I, I get my my Chivo. So I've been I've been here again. I'm wonder. I really am wondering um, if there's like any kind of. Oh, there's a mirror bug. Oh shoot, I regret leaving. I could have gotten some mirror dust for that uh, betel. I am wondering if there is like some cohesion or like some some logic to how these work. I can't get any of this tongue bop or whatever it's called. Wet bop. Yeah. It really, yeah, it's, it's, what a weird run. I'm just kind of roaming around, looking, looking for, oh, there's a Sultan Croc out of there. We're at, we're now at 80, uh, so I have 20 more jumps to go before I get my achievement. I'm, I'm not just, like, arbitrarily jumping, I'm also having a quick look around to see if there's anything worth obtaining. I could, like, kill Svardim. This is an interesting place. Subterranean Reef, huh? Um, but I've already been there, apparently. Um, I could kill Svardim for the purposes of, like, making extra cash. Um, right now is not the best time to do it because I'm already pretty close to weight limit. Although, I guess dropping all that ham was fine. One stratum D. I'm pretty sure there was a... I can't remember what they're called. A, a lithofix there, just, to, like, trying to take me out. Something um, did some damage to me. I don't know what. You hear a shloop and the world around you shifts. We're five, uh, five strata deep. Getting pretty close. I'm still bleeding. I love the I love the idea of the clams. It's really cool to me. These teleporting clams. This like interconnected web of clams. Alright, there it is. That was the one hundredth clam jump. It's 
been a long time coming that achievement we are five strata deep right now so actually i i, I actually i need to do a couple more jumps until i'm on the surface saving game come on all right surface here we are um all right so we're good there we could go run around in the deathlands and find ourselves a chrome pyramid but i don't have any mp grenades so that's that's kind of a waste of time uh instead why don't we head back to our icker merchant see if they have anything more to sell since i do have some more stuff now discover a layer would you like to investigate sure you know what let's do a layer because it might be that they have some reputation. Naftali Forager. They tend to have robot reputation. I do have a love injector. So this might actually be worth doing. I should look for more layers. Also, I, I was... um, I, I forgot that I should try and get some more reputation with trolls. What are, What is our troll rep? There's more fun things to obtain from trolls. And since I actually have the ability... We're at negative 100 with trolls. Okay, so maybe not. Um, I guess we lost some troll reputation when uh, I, I <laughs> betrayed um, a Borokoro, whatever. Um, loved by Naftali tribe, hated by the kith of the gleaming specter of the tinkers of theocracy of theocracy of Ur. Uh, I don't. I don't really care to try and uh, manipulate this guy into into liking me. Wow. Uh, is that it? I'm not going to take that nylon body pack. Is That wasn't the actual, like, creature of this lair, was it? I guess it was. Wow, that Naftali Forager was one of the loneliest legendaries I've ever seen. For a Naftali to be alone like that, they tend to, you know, wander around in packs. So for them to just, like be on their own like that is is that's miserable where are these hostiles this is uh one of the few runs where i was on good terms with goat folk and i will miss being on good terms with goat folk i have learned a little bit about um like Earning reputation. I think layers are, are really important. If you can find out about layers, then that is incredible. Um, also, speaking of like stuff like this, I do need to cook a meal. Oh, that's right. I don't have cooking and gathering. I'm inspired right now, but I can't make a meal. <laughs> I'm just going to be looking at that inspired for the whole, you know, the, the rest of the game and not unable to make it take advantage of it. Okay, let's see what we've got. You know, at a certain point, I could just kill them to get all of the stuff back that I uh, sold to them. You know, that's that's also an option. Okay, water-stained nano-weave vest is actually very valuable. So let's go ahead and sell that. We'll sell this freezing opus. Um, we're going to sell all of these data disks. So, eat freehold definitely um, provided. <sighs> Unless I get cooking and gathering, there's really no point in me carrying this cycle gland paste. In fact, there's no point in me carrying any of this stuff. Uh, this stuff, I'm referring to the food. Still looking for um, brain brine. Still need more brain brine. Let's go ahead and buy this cloning draught, though. Running, rapidly running out of stuff to sell. We still have a little bit of money though, so we're good. All right, last one here. We've got one brain brine and a cloning draught. I'm gonna be looking at these painted items as well, cause you know, I, even though I've gotten the achievement now for collecting all of the the you know information uh, on a s single sultan, I, I think it's still valuable to uh, look at those in case you never know. There might be a name location that I still don't know about. All right, let's, um, I'm just going to go ahead and sell all my food. 
I know, I know, I know, I know it's, it sucks, but like, for real, what's the point? I, I, I'm at level 41. Levels are going to be insanely few and far between, so I'm not going to get enough water, or sorry, enough experience to like, buy cooking and gathering again. It's one of the fairly pricey, uh, you know, purchases in the game. So that's just not going to happen. So instead, I'm gonna just sell my food. I you can you can maybe see like I am uh, uh, starting to kind of bring this character to a close a little bit. There's less and less that I can kind of take advantage of to you know less less achievements that I can I can obtain uh, with this character. So I am I am start, starting to kind of sunset this character just a little bit. Um. Okay, so that is that, and we are left with, we might be getting very close to um, Brain Brine. Okay, so we have four Brain Brine. I thought we would have more, but that's fine. So we have four, we need three more, and we, I think we got four gloating drops from that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have thirteen cloning drops. So I think when we get to... 20 cloning draughts then i might try and find a cloner and uh well with that and our temporal clones we will probably have enough to get that last achievement and i do really want to get that achievement because like it was the kind of the impetus of this entire run um i was hoping to get others as well but like that was the main one um okay so what are we left with at this point We've done clams. Um, let me let me have a look at my list real quick. We're doing brain brine. Visit 100 generated villages. Oh, you know what? Let's village the uh, let's let's village. Let's visit the village of Deva and see if we can't earn some more reputation with them. Settlements. Um, I wish my. There it is, Deva. I wish my uh, mods were working right now. There's Dava. So I want to look, find Deva and Deva. Okay, um, okay, we're all good there. And um, artifacts? No, we're good. Thing is, is that right now uh, map pins are really a problem. Um, we can turn off. Well, let's turn off all historic sites. And let's turn off all layers. Aborokoru, Ape God. And we'll turn off all merchants except for the Iker merchant, always relevant. Um, miscellaneous is fine. Name, name locations. That was that. Those are my name locations. Uh, any of these oddities? We're good on oddities. Ruins. Let's turn off all ruins. Definitely, this is something I, I hope um, gets a quality of life update in the future. Um, Hunter's uh, mods that improve map pins is just about invaluable, and I, I almost think it should be like just part of CUD. But um, I know, I know, you know, like I, I don't say that as a criticism of CUD. It's just like I, I think that it, it, you know, the game benefits a lot from that. Um. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Okay, uh... Speedrun. Oh, there's another Deva. How many Devas are in this game? Too many, by my count. Okay, I think ruins are done now. Well, we still have quite a few things on the map that I don't need, but it's a little bit more manageable now. Bale demanding six crystal longswords. I must have sold those. I guess I was, like, I was getting pretty close to having the... <laughs> The right number of crystal long swords, and then I went ahead and sold them like a dummy. Damn. Okay, so there's Dava. I don't know if that's the correct Dava. There, here's Dava. Is this the Dava that knows me? Is that the, is that the faction that likes me? Uh, no. Weirdly, it's Dava. Aggressive ones won't attack you. You are welcome in their holy places. They need to favor me. 
Dava. Not Dava. Dava. That's Dava. There's Suwon. Uh, there, there it is over there. Dava. Okay, so let's go to Eve Freehold. Because um, that's the closest waypoint I have to Dava. And now we are just going to have to walk over. And we are going to be walking through the deep jungle. I haven't really ex done much of any exploration of the deep jungle. I guess, um, you know, I wouldn't mind at some point doing some exploration of some Baroque ruins. But they're just, like, really spicy. And I just don't know if it's something... <laughs> I, I want to do okay hold on i wanted to look at this what is this okay we we it's some someone we already know all about this guy's got a spacer pistol this guy had a spacer pistol and a biodynamic um cell we're definitely going to take that pretty sure i did take yeah i took the spacer pistol so that guy um those guys have some pretty good stuff i should stop occasionally to wow this is not a good place to be right now what did we get from that we got some jumble of tongues okay we've got a gal 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 gals are really really tough and i i'm pretty sure i'm going to die right now yep They charge, like, multiple times. You can see their charge direction. Oh my god, my clones are throwing hand grenades. We're gonna take an Urberry. I wouldn't mind trying to kill this thing. It is a pretty good... It, it's not quite as, as uh, bragging rights as a Chrome Pyramid, but, you know, something. Galgals are tough. They are kind of tearing into it. It's damaged. Yeah, we, we took it out. We didn't get anything from it, unfortunately. Kind of sucks, but, you know, not bad. At least I, I know what to do there. So they, they just charge multiple times, and you have to be... Oh, okay, we got some nasty stuff here, including a plasma gel. Taking some pretty heavy damage. We died. We we died after killing a gal gal. Amazing. Okay. Well, um, I'm still. That's actually a pretty good place to stop. I'm I'm gonna head over to Dava. Uh, I'm sorry, Dava. In the next episode, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't um, improve our relations with them enough to uh, have them. Um, have the have the slints join them. Uh, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Uh, and thank you very much to the so coffee subscribers for supporting the channel. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you, bud. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.